Synopsis of the Books of the Bible. Psalms. By J. N. Darby. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 and 17. Synopsis of the Books of the Bible. By John Nelson Darby. Psalms, Psalms 37. Waiting on Jehovah. In this interesting psalm the great point pressed on the remnant, a lesson for every soul, is waiting on Jehovah, and not having the spirit disturbed by evil, they will soon be cut down like grass, they are not to fret themselves, but trust in Jehovah and do good, to delight in him, they will have their desires, to commit their way to him, he will justify them, to rest in him and wait patiently for him, Jehovah will soon interfere, the wicked doers be cut off, and the meek inherit the land. The other character of the remnant is also largely unfolded, the righteous man, from verse 12 onward. Jehovah does not forsake his saints, they are preserved. The righteous shall inherit the land. The final word is, wait on Jehovah and keep his way. The righteous suffer, but are not forsaken, the ungodly are in great prosperity, and soon their place knows them no more. How this, as to the righteous, points to the deep character of the suffering one who was forsaken, though the perfection of righteousness. This psalm also helps to show the connection between the disciples and this remnant, see Matthew 5 verse 5, yet, to show the difference, the son was there. They could suffer for his name, this brought in heaven, Matthew 5 verse 12. He could reveal the father, which he does, in the discourse. The light goes out to the world, as well as being the salt of the earth. Details of grace also are brought in, of which the latter day remnant know nothing, because of this revelation of the Father, who acts in grace. Still, de facto, it is the same remnant, 